Today's Ask Reddit post. What was okay 10 years ago, but isn't today. Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. Naming your child Alexa. Alexa, 33. Here, I tell people that Amazon named the device after me because I know everything. It stopped being funny years ago, and I don't even like saying it. But that's showbiz baby. When you don't want to do something after being asked for it, do you sometimes say I'm sorry? I don't understand what you're saying. The name Karen was just a vanilla white girl name. I have three Karens in my close circle. Literally their names. Not their personalities. My daughter is 7 and thinks it is hilarious. She calls them sweet auntie Karen. Pretty Karen. And work Karen. She always corrects me if I just say Karen. I would definitely start going by something else if my name was Karen. Unfortunately, I have a real Karen in my life. Nickelodeon. The Amanda Show was my favorite thing in the world as a kid. I remember waiting for my slow ass computer to load the website that Penelope Tate always talked about. Colon close bracket. Edit. Okay. Yes I know it's taint. I watched the documentary. But yeah know what. For 27 years I thought it was Tate, so I'm leaving it'll mayo. Thinking that 2004 was only 10 years ago, but now it's 20. Don't remind me, my 20 year HS reunion is this year. It won't be long before my 20 year HS reunion will have been 20 years ago. YouTube. I remember the days when the ads were around 5 to 10 seconds long and they only played like once usually in the beginning and end of a video. I remember when YouTube didn't have ads. Firefox and ad blocker has your back. I haven't seen an ad in years. House prices. 2012 my wife and I bought a nice starter house for dollar sign 200k and our household income was about dollar sign 75k. We sold it a few years later and make a little money on it, but the people we sold it to just sold it for dollar sign 450k. Now we each make more than we did together and probably can't afford that house. Teaching. I feel this on so many levels. In 2014, I was teaching pre-K. L lived comfortably, had an active social life, and had a great work-life balance. Over the years teaching has gotten harder, the stress more intense, there's less support from admin and parents, and the kids are more violent. I have two bees from being assaulted by students. Teaching is abusive now. I quit teaching in 2013 after 15 years. It was pretty bad my entire career. I live in a state that doesn't fund education, so it might not be the same everywhere. Posting every photo of a night out on Facebook or social media in general. You got this backwards? Might just be my age group. But my mates, 18 to 29, can't go out without recording every single second. When social media was just the kids, live a journal, misspace, early FB, people posted literally everything and anything. Then the parents came and all the kids stopped posting anything and moved on to Instagram. Ebb. Used to be a lot of great deals, and it was way better than staying in a hotel. Now it's the opposite. Ridiculous fees and expectations and a lot of unnecessary bull poop. A hotel is just so much easier, and you know what to expect. All the ebbs I've been in have been so dirty. I know they're not cleaning after every stay and instead relying on the guests to clean up. You'll find a lot less of this in an average hotel, because they have staff dedicated to cleaning. The last ebb I stayed in had old. Dirty throw pillows on the bed, a layer of dust on the floor and a very moldy tub. However, the last generic holiday in I stayed at was quite new and very clean. I wasn't expected to clean the room before leaving, and they had a pretty good free breakfast. The package of bacon in the back of my fridge. At this point you'd best appease it as to not anger it. An offering must be made. Going into work sick. People still do it, but post covid it's far less encouraged by workplaces to be openly ill around colleagues. Thank goodness, the official sick policy at my job is don't get sick. Pretending to drink beer from your iPhone. 
I was at a Z concert last year, 2023, and saw someone in front of me playing with the beer drinking app. Really brought me back to 2009. Most fast food. Seriously. Why do they all suck now? I just want Wendy's to be Wendy's. It's a sad, dried out husk of its former self. And McDonald's. She eat it. It's so expensive you might as well go to a real restaurant. McDonald's used to be so colorful and fun. Too. Now all of them are bland and gray. Kind of like the meat they put in their sandwiches. My outlook on how the world will turn out. What a time to be alive. Bumping Gangnam Style. The Walking Dead. The new spin-off The Ones Who Live is surprisingly good. Didn't like Maggie and Negan's show though. Carrot Carrot The Ones Who Live and Errol are both great. Dead City is met. Making mistakes in public. Saying something in the heat of the moment. Shit like that. Phones are whipped out in an instant. Recently went to a friend's daughter's quince. Hardly any of the teenagers were dancing, while the adults were tearing up the floor. Not at all like the quinces I went to as a kid. I think the kids were so scared of being recorded and having something potentially embarrassing posted that they just couldn't enjoy themselves. Pulling into the wrong driveway on accident. I opened the door to the wrong car recently. Someone was in it and things did not go to bad. Everyone got confused. I apologized a lot. Things could have gone a different direction fast. About 10 years ago I walked into the wrong house. My mom had just moved to a new place and her house looked exactly like the neighbors. It was one of my first times going to visit her, and I did as I normally do, ring the doorbell about 5 times, while walking into the house. The neighbor came, and I looked at him, and said oh I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong house. I did the walk of shame to my mom's next door with her laughing uncontrollably at me. The amount of times per day one was exposed to the name Trump. Just last night I told my husband that we have literally heard the name Trump every single goddamn damn day for 8 years. 8. Yes. He's replaced the game. Coughing to cover a fart in public. Now you need to fart to cover a cough. Underrated comment. You know what was okay. Fucking reddit awards. And now they're gone. Why would you duck an award? Fast food prices. Man I miss two dollar meal deals at Taco Bell. Remember when McDonald's had a dollar menu and not a value menu? Netflix password sharing. The word swag. Doesn't it just still mean free poop the company gave me? Yes. Inappropriate PSN names. My friend made an account called awesomeafan911 back in like 2013. It's on PS and still there lol. Queen Elizabeth II. MCU movies. 10 years ago we were getting fairly consistent bangers. Now we pray for each upcoming release to break the slump and out even the better ones. 10 years ago people were wondering. If Guardians of the Galaxy would be Marvel's first failure in the smart money was. It would be. Exactly. 10 years ago we were suspecting where things would fall apart. Now we hope for an above average project every year. Calling someone on the phone and expecting them to actually answer it. P did his life. Privacy people used to freak out back then, when Google was able to detect where you were on a map but nowadays, mostly everywhere you go, people have tracking devices in their phones, which again has its pros and cons. People used to say f asterisk g a lot more, just as one would say dude or something. Also that's gay as a negative response, to having to do something I don't hear that anymore either. My back and hairline. Both were straight and now non-existent. Reddit. This place has gone to poop. Agree. After 12 years or so here, it was fairly common to see highly informative, well-written comments even on the goofiest subs. Whole chains would sprout under those types of comments where people added their own knowledge on those randomly added facts. And many left positive comments about having learned something new. 
can't pinpoint when the shift happened. But now anyone who corrects another or points out any error risks becoming an anathema. People are becoming more averse to the idea of being wrong, which only leads to a more ignorant society. Prices of groceries and general goods. The outlook on my life. My liver apparently. Edit. Wow. Thanks for the concern. Wasn't expecting that. I know it is only a few people asking. But even so does mean a lot. We never properly appreciate our livers. Kidneys. Pancreas etc until they stop doing their jobs. Not having a smartphone. IDK I feel like by 2014 nearly everyone I knew had a smartphone. With the exception of grandparents. Using a plastic shopping bag. I recycle all my friends plastic bags for pet poop. What do you do with all the poop after you make this trade? A little something called discretionary income. All corporations decided that should be their money. My salary. I might get heat slash down votes for saying this. But the anti-vax movement was fairly easy to deal with 10 years ago. After the pandemic, they successfully recruited so many people that it's way tougher slash more annoying to deal with now. Edit. Wow. I was expecting to get downvoted to hell by the anti-vaxxers and conspiracy theorists. They used to be seen as a small bunch of new age nuts. Now they're a much larger and louder group. I used to associate anti-vax with hippo leftists not right wing canon crazes. Google Images. Now most of the top results are AI crap. Privacy. Rent prices. The rent is too damn high guy disagrees. Soldier boy tell back quote M. I think of him every time someone says you. Being a fan of Donald Trump. It just meant you liked The Apprentice. Now, it's a statement. Anyone paying attention knew he was poop then too. His name has been synonymous with sleaze for decades. Having shame for being a corrupt politician. Dang mailed it. The stuff that they get away with these days smh. Standing up rather quickly. A lot of the recipes for foods from fast food restaurants have seemed to change. Or the food just tastes worse. My back, my knees, my hips, my retirement prospects. Bro, you actually watched the whole video, I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.